Welcome. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss how we can solve the dynamic lot sizing problem using a very simple heuristic, which is known as lot for lot. So the idea behind this lot for lot heuristic is that we are going to place the order at the start of any given period and the quantity we are going to order that must be equal to the demand of that time period. So that is the whole idea behind the lot for lot uh, heuristic. So the problem I am considering is this one in which we have the order cost that is equal to whenever we are going to place the order is $80 and the holding cost per unit per period is basically 1.75 and here we have given the demand of that uh, particular product which is basically a corn flour so regarding if we are talking about the first iteration so the first iteration mean actually we are going to develop the dynamic lot sizing for the six time period okay so one by one what we are going to do is we are considering uh, the planning horizon one month for every iteration okay like in the iteration one the planning horizon is right now we are talking about january okay so in a january if i am going to place the order 36 okay so that is equal to the demand so that means so at the start of the month of the january the order cost is going to be 80 and then we need to calculate the uh, carrying cost so there is a two way normally to calculate the carrying cost. One is we should calculate the inventory at the end of that month. Okay, and how much we have, and then we can multiply by it with the carrying cost per unit. But right now, what criteria I am using, I am using that the average inventory in this time period multiply by the carrying cost per unit. So how we can calculate the average inventory so at the start of this month we ha do not have any inventory as you can see from the question so that means the initial inventory is zero okay and the inventory we have ordered at the start of this month is 36 so 36 plus zero divided by two so this is how we can calculate the average inventory so we need to calculate the average inventory in every particular month okay the time period we are considering which is right now we are considering one month so the average inventory is 36 by 2 is 18 so 18 multiplied by this we will get the carrying cost so the total cost we are have to bear in the month of january which is 80 plus 31.5 similarly uh, in order to calculate the total cost in the month of february again at the start of month february we are ordering equal to 36 okay so there is a order cost and then we are finding the average inventory which is again we have the zero inventory at the start of february because all the quantity in the january we have ordered we have consumed and uh, till the end of the month january okay so we have the zero so zero plus 60 divided by two multiplied by 1.75 so we will get the uh, carrying cost uh, for the month of february so again 80 plus this one is the total cost for the month of february so similarly in the month of march again at the start of month march we are going to place the order of 85 okay so that means again we have the order cost is 80 and then in order to calculate the average inventory we can simply say 0 plus 85 divided by 2 multiply by 1.75 we have a carrying cost same is the case for april may and june okay so that means at the end of uh, at the start of every month we have to place the order in order to meet the demand okay as well as in order to calculate the carrying cost we are saying that we are going to calculate the average inventory we have uh, in that particular time period multiply by carrying cost per unit we will get the carrying cost okay so then order cost plus carrying cost is going to be equal to the total cost of that month so similarly we can calculate so the order cost for the six month is 80 so that's why i'm saying six multiplied by 80 plus first month carrying cost second month third month and so on so the total cost we have to bear is 747.75 dollar if we are going to solve this problem with the help of lot for lot in a last next lecture we will see uh, can we solve this problem with another uh, heuristic so see you in the next lecture.